married. If everything went according to plan, that is. So now we're going to give you a little background of our story and how we got together. After high school, I came to you and I, and it was awesome. I instantly fell into a fantastic community with a bunch of guys who um, all of a sudden just became my brothers, and it was a really healthy place for me to be, and I just absolutely loved it. I came to the University of Northern Iowa just completely excited about going to college, and uh, I roomed with my friends, and I immediately got involved in student ministries and got a job. Didn't date a whole lot of guys or anything, but God definitely had a special guy in mind for me down the road. The first time I saw Jill uh, was my freshman year. She was two years older than me, cougar, and uh, she was singing worship at a, a church college ministry, and uh, I noticed her. Uh, that's all I, I really remember. Um, but really, I, I didn't see her again until two years later. The first time I actually met Kyle face to face was uh, right before I started grad school. I was over at a friend's apartment just hanging out and he was coming to pick up my friend and um, while she was still getting ready, I answered the door and introduced myself and kind of talked to him for a while just keeping him company and right away I just thought he was so cute and really sweet and really easy to talk to. And we just hit it off and we became good friends and after a while um, one thing led to another and we started dating. For a long time I just thought well he's just a really great guy or you know he's just gonna be a really great friend and even though I was developing feelings for him I didn't know that the feelings were mutual even though he would call me all the time, see how I was doing, and, and we could stay up all night talking, and all of that should have been a hint that maybe he wanted to be a little more than friends. <laughs> Dating Jill was uh, so much fun. I mean, uh, I could be precisely who I was to the fullest fullness of my being, and she challenged me in incredible ways, and uh, it, was, it was just really neat to see God's hand, not only on her life, but then on our relationship as we started dating. But I remember when he told me that he had feelings for me, I was just ecstatic. and I was a little skeptical at first because I never dated a younger guy before and he also was a pastor's kid and wanted to be a pastor himself and I thought, uh-oh, I'm in trouble because I'm really falling for this guy but I'm not sure I'm his type. I knew that I loved Jill when I brought her on family vacation and it was the summer before we got engaged and it took me about six months to muster up the courage and the money to make it happen. I really realized that he was the one for me when I could be completely myself and completely vulnerable with him and, um, and I could tell him anything and he was just always so loving and caring and gracious with me and I knew that even when he saw the worst sides of me, that he would just always be there and always love me the same. After some pretty pivotal conversations with my family and hers, uh, I knew that it was the natural decision and the right thing to do. And so, um, I got a ring, and the very next day, Jill and I had a, a day date planned. He came and woke me up at like 6 in the morning, and uh, I was really groggy and he just came with a bucket of water and just started washing my feet. And I told her that I desired to serve her um, like Christ uh, desires to serve her. That was really deep for that early in the morning, so that was a lot to swallow. <laughs> After that, um, we prayed and we got in the car and we started driving. And we ended up in Chicago, which was cool. I thought we were going to have a day of sightseeing and going to a show or something like that. But I had something else planned. Uh, we made it to uh, Fourth Presbyterian Church. And uh, Kyle seemed pretty determined, like he knew exactly where he was heading. Was standing there next to Jill, next to the, in this courtyard, this oasis, away from um, Michigan Avenue and the John Hancock Tower in downtown Chicago. We were standing over by the fountain and I was making some joke or making up some story that I was telling Kyle just to try and make him laugh, but he didn't laugh. He just stared at me blankly and he looked like he was going to get sick or something. And I asked her, I said, Jill, do you remember what I told you when we first started dating? 
and I made some joke again to try and make him laugh, not realizing how serious the moment was about to get. And then I, uh, I told her no, what I told you when we first started dating. And I said, yeah, you told me you wanted to love me like Christ loves the church. And I got down on one knee and um, I said, Jill, I want to love you like Christ loves you for the rest of my life. And I know I screamed and jumped and hugged and cried. And it took her a while to say yes, uh, but I knew right away she, she, she said yes. The church bell started ringing right at that time that he proposed, which was cool. And